Hi everyone, Pat Doherty with your Tennis IQ topic for today. We're talking about built-in recoveries. What you need to realize is that as you improve your level of play and get into higher levels of competition, the time factor is going to be reduced because the pace of play is going to get faster. So it's important that players learn how to be more efficient with their movement, not add any extra steps they don't need, and learn how to build a change of direction of their upper body momentum into the recovery, into the follow through of the stroke for recovery's sake. So we're going to look at a few variations of this. Here's Federer. He's showing us the move through on the run where he's choosing not to stop abruptly to make the stroke happen but to smoothly kind of scissors through the stroke production. By the end of the swing though, notice how much his upper body momentum is leaning back towards center of the court and he's squaring up to the net to make sure he can cover anything that's hit behind him. Here's uh, Mr. Djokovic. He's going to show us the slalom built-in recovery here where, and I apologize that the video is kind of holding up a little bit here, but this is where they're from an open stance they're winding up striking through the ball and with a strong lean back towards the center again, much like the previous video with Fed. So, <clears throat> this is something that you can practice, isolate and practice yourself to try to get this change of direction to be able to make it happen for you. Next clip, here's the kick out recovery. A little bit more of a variation here stays open, then that foot kicks way out there to stop his momentum from going forward, frees up that inside foot for a drop step to come back, again squaring up to the net for the recovery with his upper body. Front toe pivot, built-in recovery. So this is one that he'll often use for particularly when he gets caught closed stance, but even in the neutral stance where his upper body momentum kind of brings that opposite foot around, the left foot's going to come around with this finish of the back backhand and facilitate the recovery move. So there's that leg coming around. That That's all driven like a spring unwinding, the top's unwinding the bottom and bringing it around so he's able to uh, start getting back to position. Here's another one. Neutral spin recovery that Fed's going to show us here. Whereas footwork basically does a 180. And this a lot of this is coming from the left arm use. The opposite arm being able to crank the shoulders hard into the stroke, make it part of the forehand itself and by the time he's finished that footwork turns into a neutral in the opposite direction. So a couple of things to start working on there that will consolidate your movement, get your performance down to something that is more relevant for the higher, higher levels of play. So good luck working on all that.